Welcome back to the ACL Academy. This is Dr. Khan. Today's video, I'm going to talk about three factors that are often overlooked in your ACL recovery, but can be the X factor in your recovery process. Before I get into that, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share with a fellow ACLer that can benefit from these uh, tips and education. We are here dropping a video every Monday on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you guys don't know me, my name is Dr. Khan, I'm the founder of the ACL Academy, and the ACL Academy is a digital coaching platform that helps you recover with from your ACL injury. So three factors, okay, that are often overlooked. Three things that I, I want to talk about right now. One is the mental, emotional side of this process. Number two is the nutrition, and number three is sleep. These three things we don't focus enough on. When we talk about ACL rehab, a lot of times we were, we're really focusing on the physical side of things, getting the knee ready, getting it moving, getting it stronger. Um, we talk about the day in, day out grind of the physical rehab and how long it is. Well, if we can implement and we can complement the physical rehab with these three things, I, it can make a huge, huge difference in this recovery process. First thing I want to talk about is the mental, emotional side. It's the first factor, right? When we sustain an injury like this, it can be very isolating, especially if we're on a team sport or we partake in an activity with a bunch of our peers and we get injured like this, it comes to a complete stop, right? And it's taken away. And it can be very isolating, it can be depressing, it can be upsetting. We need to find an outlet for this. We need possibly need to talk to somebody about this. First thing that I do recommend to anybody is get in touch with a mental health professional, whether that's a psychologist or a counselor, a uh, social worker that can help uh, speak to you on these things, can help you implement some strategies. Uh, and it's so accessible today. It's not something that we have to seek out and go out of our way to go to. Um, we can literally make an appointment at our desk in front of our computer. Uh, and if you can't get on video like this, you can get on uh, a phone call and uh, a lot of times they are now offering text support where you can communicate through written text um, for your session. And this can help you uh, talk about these things, talk about what you're going through, what you're feeling. And not only that, it can help you implement some strategies such as you know meditation or mental imagery, uh, things that you can incorporate in your day-to-day -day life that can help keep you positive and motivated along this process. There will be some ups and downs during this journey we need to stay steady and keeping our mind steady and on the path and focus can really make a difference in our physical recovery. Number two, the nutrition side of things. Another professional to get in touch with is a dietitian. They can help you analyze what you're eating prior to surgery, how many calories you were taking in. They can also help you optimize after recovery what you should be eating, how much of that you should be eating, uh, and any supplements you should be taking right, to help with your recovery process. So, for example, protein is a big thing that we talk about for muscle building. Uh, as a general rule of thumb, we recommend protein with every meal and about 20 grams of protein each in, uh, uh, 20 grams of protein with each of those meals. This helps with muscle growth. This is something that a dietitian can talk to you about and help implement in your meal prep and plan. Supplements, another thing that we want to address and are underutilized. Um, for example, creatine and collagen, two supplements that we utilize um, during this recovery process. Creatine helps build muscle. Collagen helps uh, tissue repair. These are things that we could take daily and can also help adjunct what you're doing on the physical and mental side of things. Uh, the last piece that I want to talk about, most definitely overlooked, is sleep. We brush off sleep as we don't need it. There's like a stigma in the society that um, sleep is for the weak. Uh, and we will argue completely against that. When you're asleep, your body can recover. When you're asleep, your brain can relax a little bit. Your brain can release hormones to help with tissue healing. It help with not only tissue healing, but also with inflammation. In addition to that, when you get a good night of sleep, you feel energized and motivated for the next day. This makes a huge difference in your recovery process when you're asked to be doing a lot physically and mentally, 
and and not un, and unable to have the same outlets that you were having prior to surgery or prior to your injury. These make a huge difference. Now, coming from a physical therapist that helps guide your physical side of things, I, you know, I can help and we can discuss on these tips, but there's other professionals that can help you even further enhance this recovery process. Uh, and just the three things that I talked about on the mental, emotional side, getting in touch with a sports psychologist, mental health professional, Number two, diet, uh, on the nutrition side of things, getting in touch with a dietitian to help analyze what you should be eating, what you should be putting in your body, including foods, uh, supplements, as well as water intake. And number three, you know, getting a good bedtime routine. Um, and it may not even have to be getting in touch with a, a sleep coach, for example, but getting set up and structured where you're you know, you have the same bedtime routine uh, leading up to bedtime, going to sleep at the same time, waking up at the same time, getting your body on a nice cycle, because a lot of this journey is all about the consistency. If you can stay consistent in your routine day in and day out, that's where the success lies. This re rehab process is a long one, at least nine months. For most of you, it'll be close to a year, if not even a little longer. Um, and it takes time for not only the need to adapt, but for you to get strong again and in order to return to those sports and activities that you want to be back to, you have to be in it for the long haul. And, uh, you know, telling yourself you're just going to grind in day in and day out, uh, it, it, it's a tough, long road. You need to utilize all your resources, not only in addition to your physical therapist, your surgeon. These are other professionals that can help you along the way and are very underutilized tools. And, you know, when you're not in college or professional sports, you don't think about these resources. And here I am to tell you that they can be a game changer. They can make a huge difference in your recovery. ACL rehab is not just about physical rehab. The mental, emotional side and the nutrition side are huge. And of course, you just heard me talk about sleep as well. If you have any questions, drop them below. As if you've been watching our videos, please subscribe to the channel. As I said, we drop a video every Monday. Please like the video. Please also share it with a fellow ACLer that can benefit from these education and tips. I'll see you next time here at the ACL Academy. This is Dr. Khan signing off.